So Rockchip, a Chinese fabulous SOC designer, has just had its annual developer conference. And during that conference, it leaked some information about some yet to be released ARM CPU cores and an ARM GPU core. Oops. If you want to find out more, please let me explain. So I recently made a video about the next gen ARM CPU and GPU cores that have yet to be announced, but we do know some information about them. For example, at Computex, ARM announced their latest generation of CPU core has a code name of Travis. It also mentioned that its new Mali GPU has a code name of Draga, and it said that they're coming soon, but they yet haven't been announced. In a separate blog post, ARM also announced that these new CPU cores would support the scalable matrix extension, which enables AI workloads to happen quickly on the CPU without having to send the uh, workload onto the GPU or onto some kind of neural engine. So I covered all of that in the previous video. We still don't know what's coming. It hasn't yet been announced, but this is what we do know. Interestingly, one thing we can derive from this is that if the ARM scalable matrix extensions are being added to one CPU in ARM's range, then it has to be added to all of the current ones. What do I mean by that? Normally, ARM announced three different CPU cores, something from the X range, the X925 was the latest one, and that is the high performance core, where it's really trying to focus on IPC instructions per clock. Then you have the work uh, horse cores, the workload cores, the 700 series, they call it A700 series, and then you have the power efficiency cores, that's the Cortex A500 series, and they get announced every year. Now, if they add the SME, the AI extensions, to one of those, it has to add it to all of them, because that way a program, any app running, can jump between the chips without there being a loss, suddenly going, oh, no, I can't do that, I can't run this, and it just crashes. You've got to have everything to be equal. Another thing we know is that the mobile IP now has a new branding, which is Lumex. So just like Neoverse is for servers, you now get Lumex for mobile, and they've got other names for other sectors as well. Now, I don't know whether that means they're going to drop the Cortex name, because we know that Mars Mali, the GPU is still Mali, so is this going to be Cortex and Mali part of Lumix? We're just going to have to wait and see. So what happened at the Rockchip uh, developer conference? Well, they announced a new chip, which is called the RK3668, and it is a DecaCore system on a chip with ARM cores and an ARM GPU. And Rockchip announced that it will have Cortex-A730 cores and cortex a 530 cores. Now this is in line with the numbering as we've currently expect it to be. This is the next increment, so it might not be the final names, that might be the names they've been talking to arm with, that's the internal representation, until the marketing decisions get made. We don't know whether it's going to be this, because for example, when the X5 was about to come out, everyone kept talking about the Cortex X5, what's it going to be? And that turned out to be the Cortex X925. So these marketing decisions are separate than the engineering decisions. But what we do know is that there will be a new power efficiency core, there will be a new workload core, there will be a new high performance core, they will all support uh, the scalable matrix extension, and they're coming soon. And let's just talk quickly about the GPU. So Rockchip says their new chip will have an ARM Magni GPU in it. Now, by the looks of the number, the performance numbers they gave, the number of teraflops, that's not the high-end one. So I don't think it will have ray tracing built into it. So at the moment, the one with the ray tracing carries the Immortalis branding. So maybe we're going to see an Immortalis branding for the high-end and a Magni branding for the lower end with Mali in there as well. Mali Immortalis, uh, Mali uh, Magni. Again, these are marketing things, but clearly the CPU and the GPU are there, information is coming out, and we're going to find out about it soon. When's it going to be released? Well, MediaTek are probably going to want, want to announce something towards the end of the year. So what we're now, July, almost in August. So there's not much time left between now and maybe a potential uh, MediaTek announcement. So we're going to be looking at the next couple of months when ARM definitely have to get out there and announce what these things are. Now, as soon as I know what they are, I'll make a video and tell you all about it here.